A group, the National Coordinator of Frontier for Peace and Unity, has canvassed support for the presidency, uh, presidential candidacy of the Minister of Transportation, Chibike Rotimi Amechi, under the All Progressive Congress, APC, in 2023. Its National Coordinator, Ikalama Wakodisurinya, uh, stated that the group had adopted Amechi after consulting widely with leaders, youth, and other stakeholders in the South-South. Amechi is a former two-term governor of River State and has not officially, officially, I beg your pardon, declared interest in contesting for the presidential office in the next general election. The group stated that the youths have agreed that the next governor should emerge from the Riverine area, particularly of the Calabari extraction. Well, joining us to discuss this is Enefa Jodril. He's the chairman of River State Civil Society Organizations and Sogbeye Eli, a legal practitioner and a member of the All Progressive Congress. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's Great. all in the pleasure. Great. Um, Sogbeye, because you are a member of the APC, I'm trying to understand. Um, you, the, 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 the minister hasn't come out in any way to say, I'm interested in running for presidency. Um, we obviously know um, that there are many people who are interested uh, in running for the presidency in the All Progressive Congress. Why the push for him to run for office? Uh, well, I, I want to align myself with those who are doing so, uh, given his antecedents uh, in, in public offices from the speakership of the State Assembly for eight years, where it's a double as conference of speakers chairman across the country. And as governor of River State for seven years, seven months, after the Supreme Court judgment of October 25, 2007, and then double as governor's forum uh, chairman. And then again, furthermore, as a honorable minister of transportation since 2015, November, is one of those um, shining lights of this administration. And uh, he has the drive, he has the vision, he has the impetus, he has the presence of mind, he has the health, he has the age, he has the exposure on the side to give that the leadership in the lab. So why not? I, I, I kind of agree with those arguments to run because uh, we must move forward and consolidate on the Buhari years. Because a person has been a two-time governor and has led the governor's forum, now a minister, um, does that really qualify the person to lead a nation? Well, I, I mentioned national offices he held while he was speaker, was governor, and now as a minister. Is is in this dispensation probably one of the most exposed Nigerians to the tactics of the federation. Is been in this democracy from the first republic consistently, so he will know the issues. And do not forget, as director general of Wari's campaign for two times, he has run the race and he knows what should be done or what should be fixed. He's not going to come to the job as a Selena. He's not going to come to the job to start to learn. He will hit the ground running if he did decide to run. And I just give him that support. What should be paramount to us now is the parameters for judging who should become candidate for the office of president post the Buhari years. Okay. We need somebody who's vibrant. We need somebody that has age on the side. We need somebody that has experience and exposure. Somebody that can connect his name, his name, himself. There's only an introduction across the country. Okay. That's the kind of man we want now. And above all, we're talking about this president will be outgoing in 2023 and signed the North Young to Run Bill. What does that mean? In principle, President Biden himself believes in the paradigm shift post his years. Are you insinuating that the minister is young in that in the term of not too young to run? Because I, if I remember. That was uh, an opening well, for well, young that, people that, to that come more. onto the platform, not necessarily people the minister's age, except you are... No, that law, that law so say um, those who are above um, 50 should not run. Not, not young to run law simply allows, even those who are younger than that age, those in their 20s and 30s, provided they meet the constitutional requirements, they should come out and run, not to buy them. And of course, all of those... Um, um, how those are political parties put before aspirants who are discouraged on account of maybe cost of funds and all that are set aside. But basically, I'm seeing to apply that principle that this administration cleared the roads for young people to run. It presupposes okay. that the president himself believes that going forward, that young dynamism should come into play in governance. 
And as we speak here, except for the fashion laws of this world, no one, and I say with all modesty, no one in the current position best fits the bill than Ruti Michibika Michi. All right, I'll come back to you with more questions. Uh, NFI, you are of the civil society in River State, and you obviously have sat through the two um, terms of governor, um, the former uh, governor of your state, now minister, and when he was a member of the House of Assembly. Um, how successful was he as a governor of the state? Uh, and looking at the fact that the APC and the crop of people that are interested in running for uh, the office in, uh, of the presidency in the APC, um, does the former governor stand a chance from your perspective? Um, uh, well, Miriam, um, I like, I particularly like your question. Um, but then let me start by saying that um, uh, it is my personal view uh, that no one, no one that have been within the corridors of power from 1999 till today have the moral justification to say that he wants to contest elections uh, in Nigeria. And to go back to your question, uh, which is that, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ruth does he have for the dates? Uh, for, for me, I, I think we just put the cats out and, and let's see. Ruth Michi Bigamichi is serving the president um, who told us uh, that um, when he comes in, he's going to fix this country. One of the biggest campaigns. He was the DG of that campaign. And of course, um, I don't need to, my, my, my opinion is that the president has failed woefully, failed woefully. Um, the price of goods and services are, are skyrocketed. Um, the, the, the Naira is, 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 is drowning. Uh, our economy is collapsing. Our infrastructure is decaying. Up to now, we cannot even have simple electricity that simple simple technology uh, can provide and this, this is this is the dg of that of that of that campaign and uh, to narrow it down to him specifically we opt up is the president is having on that wants to um uh, treat himself and of course you know that if you complete the number of days the president has turned of the country uh it is it is almost half of the number of days uh, that he has actually sits in nigeria to to, to to, to serve this country that I've given, given him a job uh, for, 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 for eight years. But uh, so, so, so now, let, now, the governor who had been two time governor for eight years was unable to provide that any hospital where the president would deem it fit uh, to treat himself. Just, just like other candidates, some of them are the uh, governors in other states too. We've had the front line candidates from the APC as, as of today, uh, if, if, I, if I'm permitted to mention names. Uh, Bola and Tinubu and go. They, that one just went recently to, uh, to a country arranged and connected by other politicians in their own place. And for eight years, he was governor. He, he, he wanted to treat ordinary knee injury, knee, ordinary knee injury. He went, he went abroad. So these are the characters that said they want to rule this country. And, and that, that, that's, that's what I, in, in terms of uh, even agriculture, what, what, what do they do? Uh, they, they, most of these persons, uh, specifically for him, he was going to a rich state. As rich as he was, and what would have expected that you would have been heavy investment on agriculture? What we have is just. But the governor might lay claim to the Songhai farms and say that that's something that he that he has as a legacy. Even though I do not know if you can point to that today, I don't know if the uh, Wiki government has continued to well, enlarge well, the well, Songhai farms. Um, well, you know, it's a, my, my, my problem is that uh, the current the current governor, uh, for for whatever it is worth, don't have any don't, don't hate investment. <laughs> in, in this, as in, I don't know his reason, but from from the, uh, from the facts before us, the current government hates uh, any investment on uh, on, in, uh, on any of the industries. Mention sure anyone? Yeah, that's, that's almost not. But you see, and that is why uh, the Shanghai farm and the Buguma fish farm appears as you know when, when someone feels a bit smelly, the, the person who did a, a bit. If if you have a range of one to ten. And someone did two, at two over ten, which is pure failure. And the next person who came did not do anything at all. The man who had done two will not look like a, a golden fish or a leading light. Ordinarily, in terms of even agricultural investment or even other major investments, in terms of IT and what have you, this so called, uh, according to my colleague in the studio, um, uh, modern 
uh, modern uh, candidate that wants to give us modernity. You know, they invest in IT in, in the first century. Nobody's even talking about oil and gas anymore. We talk about uh, investment on IT. Talk about commerce. What 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 trade and investment he do in real estate? What 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 major does he do in agriculture? So far, in this was should be with a lot of um, a, a crisis. In fact. I, I don't want to start mentioning if I don't even uh, jilt my, my comrade who is now a member of the party. We, we are part of, but one of our biggest campaign on the regime was that we are demanding that that farm should not stand, should, should not stand. Because our community people, we are cheated, community people, we are cheated, community women and society, we are, we are protesting. So you're Do telling you know, me, in all of the things that you're saying, you're saying, saying that, you're saying that the, minister, the honorable minister is not fit to run for the office of the president. No, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and that even most of the, his contemporaries in the two major political problems we have in this country uh, that have been around power since 1999, they should tell us that what they have done. Up to today, there's no where, there's no state. In rivers that do not have public, public uh, water. I went to Rwanda. You, you drink water from, from anywhere on the road. Public water. These people, these are, we are talking about characters that couldn't provide us Public water, public water. Okay, let's say that uh, by our laws, uh, there's, certain, there's a certain degree of um, a voltage of uh, electricity that the state is limited uh, to produce. Why can't the governor, when he was governor, why can't he uh, arrange with the government chairman and create small, small dams? Small, it, to, to, to the first century, we have a lot of technology where you can wind. get small, uh, uh, we use wind, what? use uh, 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 water, use water. We're uh, almost out of time. We're almost out of time, in Nepal. So I'm just going to quickly ask. Um, so get any of these things from these so called modern people. Okay. All of them should just, should just leave. She just leave. We have the competence, yeah. Okay, you're taking a jab at all the people who are trying to run for office this time. Uh, um, so, where I'm just going to give you the last word here because we're out of time. Do you have a response? for um, NFA? I think NFA is one of the problems I'll have. Uh, the civil society groups uh, think, how could a man come on there and say, from 1999 to now, nobody's qualified to run office? <laughs> why are you going to put that experience to? When they throw them out, where are you going to start from? And I would put NFA in the know that Dr. John Kaede fired me Are you still there, Sabaye? Oh, I think we have a problem with that connection. Uh, we're all, actually almost out of time, so I, w I want to thank you both gentlemen. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Sabaye Eli is a legal practitioner and a member of the APC, and uh, Nefa George Will is of the civil society organizations. Thank you very much for speaking with us. I wish you had more time to deal with this issue. All right. This time this time thank you thank you gentlemen we have to go uh, well thank you everybody for staying with us we appreciate your thoughts and your comments don't forget we want to hear from you on our youtube channel at plus tv africa and plus tv africa lifestyle but before we go let's take a break and see what nigerians have to say about rutimi amechi running for presidency come 2023 and after that i'll be saying my goodbyes For us to have the next presidency, I really don't think a particular region should be an issue. But if Ruti Miyamichi is going for presidency, uh, I believe the man is going to work due to the current thing that he's doing in transportation industry. And he's a man that he has a vision uh, for transportation industry and um, I can see the way he's actualizing the dream. So I. We saw what he did in, in River State as well when he was um, the governor of River State. So, if he's contesting for president, I believe that he's going to work. He's not. He's a man that that uh, uh, let me use the word talk and do. If I mention want to come out, you can also come out because also, he's also a Nigerian citizen. Everybody is trying luck. If this one's not good, everybody says if you don't like this one, then everybody says you try your own luck. That's all. Uh, Nigeria has been craving for a young um, a young president. Um, considering Amechi's uh, uh, pedigree and what he has achieved in the time past, so I think it will appease Nigerians if we have somebody like him as our president. Uh, somebody cannot be a mumu. It's good for you to have the action. I just call him the troublemaker. He's the action man. Well, the only thing that we need to do is just to pray to God to help us to choose. 
You understand me? All of them are the same. Because even we that we are even interviewing yourself as a human being, human beings are about to change at any time. Are you getting me? Anybody can get to that position and change. So the only thing that we just pray that God should give us a better person. Because the, the Bible says, if the righteous man is on the throne, the masses will enjoy. But if the wicked man is on the throne, will suffer it. Well, that's it on the show tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can follow us on all our platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, and you can subscribe to our YouTube at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Mary Anna. Come see you tomorrow. <laughs>